Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, I got the hidden passage for you. It's a puzzle I received from Sia Mandalay, and it comes in this cardboard box here, which actually I like because no waste of plastic materials or anything, just a simple card box. This is enough to package a puzzle from my point of view. It comes with the solution inside, which we do not look at right now. And the puzzle is this one here. It's a burr puzzle. The target is to disassemble it and to reassemble it. And it's made completely out of wood in a nice quality with the Sia Mandalay logo on it. So if I zoom in here, you can see the logo of Sia Mandalay. And you can also see here the grain of all these different wooden pieces, which looks pretty nice. It's handmade. And yeah, it's just a nice puzzle. The link where you can buy it, I will copy in the description of this video. And um, something special for you. Um, Sia Mandalay provided me a link, or let's say we, we, we created a voucher. So if you order a puzzle before Christmas using one of my affiliate links, you get 10% off your complete order. So it's including worldwide shipping. Check out the page at Sia Mandalay. Link in the description, as I said. The puzzle itself, as I said, is made completely out of wood. I will not show you the disassembly. I will only show you the assembly because this is more interesting, I think. The disassembly is quite easy. And yeah, how to assemble it, I will show you after the spoiler break. So this is what the puzzle looks like after we disassemble it. Overall, it contains 12 parts, two big parts and 10 of these classic burr parts. What I'm interested, maybe someone of you can leave a comment here how I'm able to, or how I actually count the overall step of these burr parts. Because to me it's not clear. I know that there are some of you who are watching these videos are much more familiar with these burr puzzles than I am. And I'm interested to know how to count all these steps. Maybe you can give me a, just a simple example or put a link in, it, in the um, comments where I can learn and understand how to count them because for me it's not clear. Usually you define it by let's say two, four, four, three and then you or the overall steps are the sum of these single steps. But to me it's not clear how to exactly count it. It would be very nice or kind of you if you could provide me a sample example okay i did it the following the assembly the following um i started here with these two halves and i will put them here in this orientation and then i'm looking for the two parts with the sia mandalay logo and i will place them one of them in here and one of them in here the reason for that is for me, it was obvious that uh, it has to be like this. First, I knew from the beginning that the logo will be in the middle. So it has to be here or up here. And I choose this direction because there was this groove here inside. And this, the size of this one is just a half of the width of one block. And if I put it in, I have a complete block. If I would put it in like this, it would actually yeah, from my point of view, it just made sense make, made sense to put it in like this because here it would already block the axis of the puzzle for further parts from here. So it makes no sense to do it. Therefore, the only possibility from my point of view is to put it in from here. This is how I started. <clears throat> and then I continued with this piece here. Overall, it takes me maybe 20 minutes to find a solution for this one. I'm not sure if this is fast or not. The difficulty, by the way, is three out of a maximum of five. And the other part that looks the same, I put in from the bottom. And I'm in this condition. Next, I took this piece here and I put it in from the top because, you know, I built now one 
rib here inside that goes from the top to the bottom and keep uh, or prevents all the access I need here from from um, top and bottom so I always let's say when I place the parts I always look for keeping the yeah the access for the additional parts if I would block it somehow like this it's clear that I would not be able to assemble the rest of the parts because I can put no part in from here over the complete length okay then it gets a little bit more difficult or oh, no not in, no, not right now so the first the next piece would be this one I will put it in uh, I put it in here and shift it to the middle so the complete it will completely fit inside here with no free play uh, free space and then I put in this part here from the top and I cannot do it right now but I can shift these two over here and then I have enough space to fit it in and push it back in the previous condition and the next step will be to put in this part here and on this side it's no problem anyway I cannot shift these to the outside but I can put it in from the top and move it to the outside like this so there's only one gap left but when I, if I turn it around I see there are more there's a little bit uh, more space over here and now there's another trick which is simple but anyway you need to understand it if I put in what this one right now I can't put in this one if I put in this one I can't put in this one so how should it work well there's a pretty easy step if you see it you just put um, these two pieces here together like this oh no <laughs> no I messed it I me I told it's a simple step and now I messed it up like this and then if you pre-assemble them it's easy to fit them in so this is how you solve the hidden passage by Sir Mandalay it's a nice puzzle I really like it one of the uh, simple or not the simple but um, not too difficult let's say burr puzzle I really enjoyed solving this one I'm not too experienced with burrs therefore I, it's fits my let's say my current um, difficulty level of this kind of puzzle I will try now some more difficult ones Anyway, as I said, link in the description if you're interested to buy it. And if you like this episode, just give me a like, subscribe to my YouTube and Facebook channel. And until next time, keep on puzzling. <laughs>